Welcome to chapter five, lesson one, how to source items from suppliers. So now that we've learned how to follow competitors and how to find niches, in this chapter, we're going to learn how to source these items from our suppliers. Whether you are using Amazon, AliExpress, or Walmart, or even a private supplier, it really doesn't matter. For this example, I'm going to use Amazon as well as AliExpress. We're going to talk about the factors that help you make the right decisions. We're going to talk about pricing, item features, different qualities of an item, and we're going to cover the important factors that help us make the right decisions. So for this example, I decided to use the keywords digital meat thermometer. So I'm going to use these keywords to show you how to source your items from Amazon as well as AliExpress. So after I evaluated the statistics and saw that they were great, I went ahead and scrolled down to the product list. So remember, we look for opportunities. We look for sellers with a lower feedback score, that way we can easily compete against them. We look for items that sold at least 10 times, and we look for higher prices. And then you have to look at the items. You have to look at the images, as well as the titles. You have to do your research on the quality, the material the item is made of, and take into consideration all of the factors that a buyer would consider when buying your item. All the important factors that give value to the item. Each feature and each different type of material gives different value to an item. And we need to take into consideration that we need to find the right item with the right selling price to get the best value. And once we fit the value and the price together, we will then in return sell a lot of these items. Because some buyers take time to research the product they want to buy, some of them do very little research. But yet, they all come to buy an item with a little bit of knowledge. A thing we need to consider is our competition. We always need to bring better value than our competitors. This includes selling price, the features of the item, the photos, the title. All of those things can help us. We also have to take into consideration the size of our competition. So we have to decide if we're going to compete against a seller with 28,000 feedbacks, 1,000 feedbacks, or 107 feedbacks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to gather as much information as we can about this niche. So as you can see, the first two items are exactly the same. The title for the first item is Instant Read Digital Electric kitchen cooking barbecue grill food meat thermometer sold 176 times in the last 30 days for $4.99. The second item is exactly the same. The photo is a little bit different, but the title is also the same as the first item and it sold 156 times for $6.99. The third and fourth items are again exactly the same. The titles are a little bit different. This is an instant read meat thermometer digital LCD cooking barbecue food thermometer. They are both selling for $12.99. But the difference here is the fourth seller has a feedback score of 107 and he is competing against a seller with a feedback score of 1,866. The first four items are pretty much all the same concept because all four of them come with a stick where you can stick it into your coffee, your milk, your meat, and so on. Then if we scroll down to get a little bit more research, we have this thermometer here. This seller has a feedback score of 86 and he's very high up on the first page of eBay. 72 sales and the title for this item is LCD Digital Thermometer Meat Barbecue Cooking Food Oven Grill Temperature, selling for $12.59. So now let's say we found three different thermometers that we would want to source from our suppliers. It's important to keep in mind that you have to find the item exactly the same as this one or very similar if you would like to compete against this seller, as well as his price. Again, it's very important. It has the same features, looks the same or very similar. So now let's say we want to search for this item as well as this third item and we want to search for this item as well. To get more information about these items, what we would do is click on the title here and it will open it up on eBay. You can do this for every item that you're interested in selling. It's very important to get all of the information that you need 
in order to compete against these other sellers on eBay. Looking at the information for this first item here, you can get a lot of information by looking at the photos, reading the title, and the price. Here you can see this seller offers some bulk savings. Looking at this item that we found, again, you can look at the photos to get information, read the titles. Here you have the option to select a color, and of course, looking at the price. Same goes for the third item that we found. Photos give you a lot of information. So keep in mind, we selected three different items from three different competitors, all with different feedback scores. We have a feedback score of an 86, a feedback score of 107, and a feedback score of 37,000. So now that you've found a niche, You've researched the sellers as well as the selling price, the title, and the photos. You've opened each item up that you would like to sell on eBay to get a little bit more information. The next step is finding these items with your suppliers. Now, Zeek Analytics has a great feature, which is this red cross here. By clicking on it, you can add supplier product manually. Once you click on it, you may select Amazon, AliExpress, or Walmart. And this will search for the keywords digital meat thermometer. And you may do that for every item you're interested in selling. Now, if you were to click on this red cross, select Amazon, it will open up in the search bar digital meat thermometer. Here you may also select Amazon Prime. Now our goal here in Amazon is to find items that are similar or the same as these three items that we found. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll through. Right away we have this item here. You can see it's selling for $29.99, which is a little bit more than our eBay product, leaving us no room for profit. So what we need to do is we need to scroll through Amazon and look at the prices as well as the photos to find a similar or same item that is being sold on eBay. For example, we have this item here. It's selling for $9.99, and it comes in four colors, this black one plus these three here. It's an instant read waterproof meat thermometer, which looks very similar to this item that we found here on eBay. Now when we go back to Amazon and when we click on this title, it will open it up in a new tab. Here we can see the four different colors it comes in, as well as the price. Now looking at this product here on Amazon and comparing it to the product here on eBay, you can see the eBay product is selling for $12.99 each. The Amazon product that we found similar to the eBay product is selling for $9.99. Now, if you take into consideration that you are competing against your competitor and this product is not the same as the eBay product, you cannot sell this item on eBay for $12.99. You would have to drop your price a couple cents to let's say $12.50, which will give you little to no profit, around 46 cents for each sold item. So even though you have sellers who are selling this item at certain prices with low feedback scores, you should just let them sell it. So we can go ahead and eliminate this thermometer. We do still have two options, which is this one here selling for $6.99 and this one here selling for $12.59. For these two, I used AliExpress as my supplier. And in this case, I went into AliExpress.com and I typed in meat thermometer in the search bar. The very first thing I noticed was this product here. I went ahead and clicked on this title and it opened it up in a new tab. Here you can see this item is very similar, if not the same, as the eBay product here. Again, this item on eBay is selling for $12.59. On AliExpress, it's selling for $5.97 with a shipping price of $0.53. Cents. What this supplier on AliExpress also offers is this other digital thermometer that we found on eBay selling for $6.99. On AliExpress, it's selling for $1.84 with a 53 cent shipping cost. 
So if we were to take the time to calculate our profit for this thermometer versus the thermometer on eBay selling for $6.99, taking into consideration the eBay and PayPal fees, we would get a profit of about $2.92. And how you would calculate that? First and foremost, you have to take into consideration that here on Zeek Analytics, the first and second item are exactly the same, but one is selling for $4.99 and the other is selling for $6.99. They are both sellers with high feedback scores. Now because the sellers with very high feedback scores have great prices, the only way you can compete against them is by having a better price than $4.99. Now let's see if we would get a profit good enough for us when it comes to this product competing against these competitors. So let's calculate because the lowest price for this item here is $4.99. Our best bet to get sales competing against these two sellers is to sell this item for a lower price than $4.99. Let's say we were to sell the item that we found here on AliExpress for $4.80 minus 14% of eBay and PayPal fees, minus 30 cents, which also fall under the eBay and PayPal fees, minus our purchase price on AliExpress of $1.84, minus our shipping price on AliExpress, which is 53 cents, we would get a profit of $1.45 for each sold item. And we would be selling this item at a cheaper price than these two competitors. Now it's up to you if you are willing to compete against sellers who have very high feedback scores for a profit of $1.45. Now let's take our third item into consideration. This seller here has a feedback score of 86, sold it 72 times in the last 30 days for a $12.59 price. Now you remember we found the same exact item here on AliExpress, selling for $5.97 with a shipping price of 53 cents. On eBay, it's selling for $12.59. So let's calculate what our profit would be if we sold the same exact item on eBay for $12.49. So we would take $12.49 minus 14% of eBay and PayPal fees minus 30 cents, which also fall under the eBay and PayPal fees, minus $5.97, which is our AliExpress purchase price, minus 53 cents, which is our shipping price, we would get a profit of $3.94 for every sold item. This is our hot ticket item. We are competing against a seller with a low feedback score of 86, who managed to get 72 sales on this particular item, selling it for $12.59. If we dropped our price 10 cents, for $12.49, we would still get a profit and we're able to compete against this seller. So as you can see for this example, we found a niche with great stats. We took a few of the items from the product list and evaluated our chances to sell it. We right away eliminated this first item because we did not make a big profit. We evaluated the second item because we would be competing against sellers with high feedback scores. And then we found our gold ticket item, which is this LCD digital thermometer. We would compete against the seller with a low feedback score, high sales, and a great price allowing us to make a great profit. We did not have to look for a similar item because we managed to find the same exact item. So we covered how to find the item. We took into consideration the price, the features of the item, the title, the seller's feedback score, and the number of sales this item generated in the last 30 days. 